What is the most impossible Geometry Dash level? That is the question I set out to answer, and I started with this. As you can see, there is no way to get past this wall, and therefore the level cannot be beaten. While it may theoretically be possible to beat using block clip bugs, for this specific setup, it should be impossible without changing the level. But what if I said it can be beaten? I am sure we are all aware of the no clip mod. It allows you to pass through objects without dying, so this level quite literally becomes auto with this enabled. Okay, so how can we stop cheaters like this? Well, I originally came up with this design using half slabs, and it seemed to work well. It stopped players from progressing in the level until they jumped. I then went back to the drawing board and came up with this design. In the ship game mode, pushing the player into the ground using slopes actually stops them, and since no clip cannot clip through these slopes thanks to the way they are positioned, it makes this level truly impossible, right? Well, there are other mods in the game, such as Instant Complete, which skips over everything in the level until the end. So how could we stop Instant Completers? Well, using something known as a Crash Trigger. When Sonic Leaf Infinity was raided, quickly after it got unrated because of a Crash Trigger someone hid in the level. And that's exactly what popularized their existence. The crash trigger is basically a normal trigger, except with messed up values like this. Upon being triggered, your game just closes. You can reopen it and no harm is done, but it can be annoying. Anyway, could this trigger be used to make a level completely impossible? Well yes, it can. Even using instant complete in other mods, upon activating the crash trigger, your game will just close before you complete the level. So did I just create the most impossible level? Well, if this counts as a level, then I guess you could say I did, since there is no known way to beat it currently. However, it could be argued that using mods like Noclip defeats the point, since completing a level using it is not considered legitimate. Plus, things like the Crash Trigger, while not impossible to obtain, are not allowed in rated levels. So, I think we should change the definition of what makes an impossible level. Firstly, the level should be, well, at least somewhat physically possible without using mods, even if it requires insane inputs. Secondly, no mods that change the gameplay such as no clip will be allowed to complete the level. These two rules ensure that just placing a wall of blocks before the end does not make a valid impossible level. So I made this. It is very tight, but technically possible. While it looks like the wave is actually touching the spikes, it will not die because spike hitboxes are actually really small. Once again, it didn't take much digging to come up with this, so here's a new rule. Impossible levels should have at least decent decoration and gameplay. The most obvious level to come to mind after knowing these rules is Silent Circles, which for a long time was considered the hardest physically impossible level ever. Although, it is considered impossible to be beaten legitimately because of the crazy clicks per second required at its infamous mini wave part. In fact, the rest of the level isn't even that impossible, but this? This is what makes the level impossible. Or at least it would if people were not actually trying to pass it. Yeah, I am not kidding. People are counting the spikes they can pass to see how far they can get. And this level further enters the realm of possibility thanks to clicking techniques such as bolt clicking. But nevertheless, trying to find more impossible levels was tough. I spent hours journeying through the community, looking in every little corner for more impossible levels. Everything was timeless as I searched for the most impossible level. Wait, timeless? Timeless by Cyrillic is an interesting level, and I didn't remember it until after I remembered Silent Circles, which also features Cyrillic as one of its creators. To put it simply, Timeless is an infinite level. It features a negative amount of seconds, so somehow the end of the level is actually before the player and impossible to reach. While the level is not playable anymore, we can't go inside the editor to see what it was like in WOW. The design I came up with earlier using a crash trigger, while there is no known way to beat it yet, I wouldn't be surprised if someone finds a way around it. But this level? It is infinite in length, so no matter what you use, you cannot beat it. However, unlike Silent Circles, this level doesn't feature any decoration or gameplay, so it doesn't really qualify for this video, but I felt that it was still worth mentioning. Anyway, by now I asked you guys for help again, and while this time I mostly only got a lot of back on track and other jokes, this one comment would send me down a rabbit hole of impossible levels. So I thought Silent Circles was hard. This level called Wistfully has the player invisible for most of the level and has insane two player duels. Unlike Silent Circles, I couldn't even record a decent replay of it, so this will have to do. But the most important thing about this comment was that it mentioned something called the impossible levels list. So I did some digging, and it turns out that there is actually a whole community of people that have the same goal that I do in this video, which is to find the most impossible level. The rules I made for this video were that levels needed to be physically possible without using mods, and that it had to have decent decoration and gameplay. And while the impossible levels list does have some stricter rules than that, it does align with what I set out for quite well. I went to their list, and the first thing I noticed was that Wistfully isn't even the hardest level. Instead, the hardest level, according to the list, is actually a level called Ballistic Wistfully. Now we are starting to enter territory where the current top 1 rated level on Pointer Crate, Tartarus, is starting to look like an easy demon, being at spot 271 of this list. So anyway, this is what Ballistic Wistfully looks like. As you can see, I'm in the editor of the level. This is because the level is literally so hard that I cannot get a decent recording of it, even using tools such as Noclip. 
So, does that mean this level is the most impossible level in this game? Well, no, at least not going by the rules I put in place for this video. Going by the impossible level list rules, then yes, it is currently the most impossible level. However, they have some stricter rules, one of which is a clicks per second limit, where levels that have more than 15 clicks per second are not allowed on the list. Apparently, the sign up circles on this list has been edited to make it possible with a maximum of 15 clicks per second. The unedited sign up circles actually requires over 30 clicks a second, which is in no way impossible to achieve, but still difficult. Therefore, it is ineligible, but not ineligible for this video. So, which is harder, the unedited sign up circles or Ballistic Wistfully? And to be completely honest with you, I don't know. On one hand, Ballistic Wistfully has some insane movements and inputs required, but on the other hand, you have to click faster in sign up circles. In my humble opinion, I think Ballistic Wistfully is harder because of its diverse gameplay consisting of more than just a hard wave section, but that may just be me. Also, theoretically, the levels on the impossible levels list could be buffed to require more than 15 clicks per second and could quite easily beat Silent Circles that way. But unfortunately, as it stands, the levels on the impossible levels list have not been buffed in order to stay eligible for that list, and I thought there would be no way to find levels as hard as Ballistic Wistfully with a higher clicks per second. Until I realized that the impossible levels list community has a second list, known as the Silent Levels list, without the 15 clicks per second rule. So, after multiple days since I started this journey, I found it. I found the most impossible level in Geometry Dash. A level with numerous frame perfect inputs, ridiculous clicks per second, hundreds of thousands of jumps. According to the Silent Levels list, this level is Metathesis by MaxFS. And honestly, I was astonished when I saw this level. Fortunately, there is an auto version available for me to show you, so just look at this. The amount of clicks per second this must require and the frame perfect inputs, this is surely the most impossible level in Geometry Dash. However, will it stay the most impossible level forever? When levels this hard are created, there is usually always at least one thing they can improve on, whether it be their length, making harder inputs, or even increasing the clicks per second required to beat it. Players will always be able to come up with something harder. However, what if I said I was going to do that? That's right, I'm making a level. I will make a level so hard that it will claim the throne of the most impossible level. It will require insane inputs and clicks per second, and it will be almost physically impossible. In case you don't know, I am actually a featured creator in game, so I know how to decorate and build levels. Keep on the lookout, because this is my biggest undertaking yet. One thing Metathesis didn't have was a super long length, being less than a minute long. That is already one area I can improve on, but I believe I can find other areas. Using triggers, I can make a level require even more clicks, reaching the human limits of this game. I will make it my goal to create the most impossible level in Geometry Dash, and once I do, I will make a video on this channel about it. Difficulty in this game has come so far, and it will only go further. We will push the limits of this game as far as it can go. Remember to subscribe if you like my content. So thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a great day as always.